So this step here, you got everything onto your tracing paper. All right. Life's good. You got everything like you wanted. You made your composition. It doesn't matter how dirty or nasty this is because only what you put onto your watercolor paper is what transfers. So my next step, I'm going to take my watercolor paper. It's very important you get the correct side touching the artwork. One side of your watercolor paper is very rough, or not very rough. One side of your watercolor paper is rougher than the other side. Um, if you're not sure, come ask me. I thought we did every go around and put our name on the back so that would be clear. So once I get that done, I'm going to just, I'm going to line this up. I'm looking at this edge. And I'm basically just looking, what do I want to get on my watercolor paper? If it doesn't all fit, that's fine. Just whatever is underneath the tracing paper, what's going to transfer. And then I'm going to take three or four pieces of tape. The, the better your hinge, the less likely things are going to move around. And that's better. All right. So I got it lined up. Y'all need to be able to see that, I'm assuming. So I pull with the tape. Folding it over. And now I have this creates a hinge right here. And the paper will always fall back where it goes. Alright. Step after that, there's carbon paper in the second drawer. If you find it in the first drawer, it's not where it belongs, it belongs in the second drawer. And good new carbon paper is not necessarily the best carbon paper. You want just the slightest amount of tracing carbon to transfer because then you got a Sharpie over it. And if that carbon line is really dark, it starts messing up your Sharpies. This is not the same size as my tracing paper, but that's okay. Turn it so the carbon side is down. I'm drawing. Find a pencil. All right, and then I just start drawing everything with, on top of the carbon paper. If there's something I don't want or it's ugly, just don't draw it. It won't transfer. I'm not going to go through the whole drawing, but you'll get the idea. So... You know, there's a cloud. To check it, unhinge it, pick it up. And if it's really faint, y'all can't really see it, but there is a transfer on there. If it's not transferring good, then you need to push harder with your pencil. Make sense? It'll make it come out really clean on your watercolor paper, and it keeps it cleaner through the next stages. After that, when you get all this transferred, you've moved this around. You trace, you move around, you finally get it all done. Then you take the fine sharpies and you resharpie it again. And it's ready for Zentangle and it's ready for watercolor. Make sense? Any questions on any of that? Okay, all right. Make art, have fun doing it.